Hi, my name is Andrea and welcome in today's one asana a day on my zombie yoga YouTube channel. Today is the day number 11 and I have three postures for you. Ta-da! We will compare baby cobra, cobra and upward facing dog. So be careful with your wrists, enjoy and let me know which one you like the most. So there is uh, quite of a difference between baby cobra, cobra and upward facing dog. So let's just go slowly um, with a baby cobra. Now, it's a back bend. I really want you to use those shoulders, okay? I know you can roll your shoulders, so we're gonna do that. First of all, baby cobra, I need you to bring your hands under your shoulders. <clears throat> I know you don't need to use the hands, but let's just spread, spread the fingers, push the palms, push the fingertips into the mat. And if your elbows are open, no, no, no. I need your elbows in. So the elbows are hugging your body. Forehead is down. Now, on an inhalation, I just need you to roll the shoulders back and down. And the chest is following you. The neck is following you. So I'm looking just in front of my mat and I'm not even using my head so you can lift your hands as well, up as well and exhale slowly down, very good. Let's do this few more times, inhale roll the shoulders, feel the back, lengthen, use the muscles, you need, don't need the hands for this one, exhale down, make sure you're pushing the shoulders back and down. Inhale, roll, and now you can see that the shoulder and the wrist is not in one line, okay? Exhale, slowly down, last one, inhale, baby cobra, last pairs of the ribs are still down, and exhale down, let's bring the hands on top of each other, Bend your knees and just gently rock your feet from side to side. Well done. So this was the baby cobra, but you should have felt everything. Don't forget, it's not what we're doing, but how we're doing it. Okay? So we really need to roll those shoulders. A high cobra is the same. We're just pushing through the hands. Okay, don't push too high. I will need your belly button still there. I need a back bend. Because some people do this and it's not a back bend at all. It's a straight line. <laughs> or some people do this and with the shoulders up. No, no, no. <clears throat> we'll do the same. So let's lie down, hands under the shoulders. Spread your fingers, elbows are hugging your body. As you inhale, roll the shoulders back. Push the shoulders back and down. Now I'm looking forward because I'm a little bit higher. But can you see my back bend? There is a back bend. Can you see my shoulder? It's definitely not above my wrist. Okay, so I hope yours is not either. Exhale slowly down. Plus, check your belly button as well. Three more times. Inhale, push. Belly button. Exhale down, two more, inhale, exhale, very good, and the last one, inhale, lengthen, squeeze every muscle, exhale, slowly down, brilliant, and now we can feel everything more, so let's just come up to all four position, and just have a little rest in a child's pose. Take a few deep breaths. Move a little bit. <clears throat> you have to be very careful with the back bench. You have to do the counter pose as well, because we don't want to wake up broken the next day. And we did only a few, but if you're doing it correctly and really engaging the muscles, you felt it. Now, there is a slight difference between the upward facing dog, I'm afraid, and many of you know, but if you don't know, 
in upward facing dog you're kind of lifting your hips or your pelvis above the mat just a little tiny bit I'll show you a little variation as well how I can stretch more and how I stretch if I want to stretch more so let's lie down again and while in a cobra we placed the hands uh, under the shoulders we'll slide the hands back because we still want the back bend but we can't lift ourselves if the wrist is not under the shoulder okay so we really need at the end once we're up the hand under the shoulders the hands the wrists under the shoulders so the hands just about your rib cage <coughs> ready inhale roll the shoulders back and down we're looking forward to pushing and now don't lift too much just keep pushing the pelvis down to slightly up the mat but not too high okay and exhale gently down now i'll show you what people do so people do this which is kind of like a plank but if you really arch you're just a tiny little bit about the back, uh, the mat if i want to stretch more i use the blocks <clears throat> so i can even push my hips even lower and arch the back even more can you see so i'm not trying to lift my hips i'm actually trying to push the hips lower because it's a back bend now obviously from here i'm not trying to go into a uh, downward facing dog <laughs> it's just for a little stretch so you can try it with the blocks if you feel like it but you don't have to let's do it two more times together so hands slide the hands lower elbows close to your body as you inhale roll the shoulders push hips down while well, they're still off the mat but we're pushing them down exhale very slowly down and just one more time inhale upward facing dog and we're smiling and exhale all the way down hands on top of each other bend your knees and well done <laughs> well done we did amazing <laughs>